Rescue workers are now at the scene of a climbing accident in Lookout Mountain tonight. Officials say three construction workers from Texas were climbing near the top of the mountain near Buffalo Bill's grave when one of them lost his balance and fell. Scott Sobel is at the scene now with the latest. Scott? We're on Lookout Mountain just west of Denver. If you look behind me, you can see the Alpine rescue queues, crews preparing, getting ready to, to go over the side of the mountain, 500 feet down to try and rescue a young Texas construction worker who, according to his friends, was playing, fooling around, jumping from rock to rock, and slipped down the side of the mountain. His name is James May. He's about 26 years old. He's down the side of the mountain. Take a look to your left right now. You can see him coming up. I'm here too. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Full slack. Stop. Full slack. Let's listen. Off the rope. Go ahead and untie. Oh. One thing broke back quick, so we can get the going again. So, uh, get the circle gear off. Rope pack. 26-year-old James May of Roundfield, Texas, up off the side of the mountain, fell some 500 feet down. They say he's in stable condition. He has head injuries. But they say he's in stable condition. May appears to be conscious. He's talking to the Alpine rescue nurses. They're preparing to take him to another point on the mountain where Flight for Life can move him on to St. Anthony Central Hospital. Let's listen again. He's speaking to the nurses. Okay, they're asking us to move. An ambulance is on its way here. Apparently, James May is conscious. The medical personnel here say that he is in stable condition after falling some 500 feet down Lookout Mountain. Make room here, corridor right here. And we'll keep you up to date as soon as we know how this progresses. I'm Scott Sobel reporting live, Lookout Mountain. Okay, Back Scott, some dramatic rescue pictures from Lookout Mountain. Thanks. We'll at least have more from you tonight at 10. The Alpine Mountain Rescue volunteers pulled together, putting those hours of practice to use on the real thing. They were here less than an hour after 26-year-old Texas roofer James May fell 50 feet onto his head. They were here 300 feet above others on their team who had secured the victim to hoist him to safety. May was with two other friends when a carefree beginning of a Labor Day weekend turned into terror. I was with him when he fell. What happened to him? He just tried to jump from the rocks to the other, and he ended up going down head first above a tree. Was he holding on to something? Did it stop his fall? Well, he was trying to, but he kind of slid, so he couldn't. Mm -hmm. Whenever he tried to grab, he just went. When he finally stopped, what happened? He landed on his head, busted, crashed. Our rope bag around. The team above worked by radio with the team below, and May on a stretcher somewhere between consciousness and unconsciousness inched his way up the mountain. Okay, hold it. Hold it, Why can't we just? Uh... As volunteers, you got to give everything you can, but it's just got rewards, and these are the rewards that, that come from the job. It's, it's a real nice feeling. Nice. Yeah, it is a real nice yeah. feeling. What are you going to do tonight when you go home? Um, wait for the next page. It's Labor Day weekend. May was helicoptered by Flight for Life to St. Anthony Central Hospital in Denver. His friends went to meet him, but not before taking long looks down where their friend had almost died. James May arrived at the hospital in fair and stable condition. The young roofer who survived the fall from a Colorado mountain will have a real tall tale to tell when he returns to Texas. I'm Scott Sobel reporting, KMGH 7 News.
Just give us a little room, folks. That's all we ask. Thank you. Brian, what do you think about